Yo, what is up guys? Voltrix here, back with a brand new video. And today, guys, we're going to be playing some Ceramic Crucible, so let's hop right into it. I know, guys, it's Ceramic Crucible. I do apologize, but I actually did end up missing Boss Arena Day because I was just so busy yesterday. And then today was filled with a lot of stuff as well. I actually went back home uh, to meet up with a high school friend. We got some breakfast, and then I hung out with my family for a little bit as well. Now I'm back here, and right after I record this, I gotta get to painting this room. I'm actually going to be painting it um, kind of a darker gray color, so you guys will definitely be seeing that in the stream in the background here in the new future. So I just like need to get it done. Like I just, I can't, um, just like you know sit here and like do half of it I get I gotta just do it all in one freaking sitting so that is my goal our first photo we got today is 1,000 cats definitely does not look very experienced but we got the map ice flow so I'm actually going to be skipping that map and we're gonna be refraining from using any DFA or anything like that don't want to be using a strat like that so we got yellow brick road so I'm probably gonna go with tack Mortar because tack mortar is just a fun strat to use and it definitely will work on this map. So let's just freaking do it, baby. So he says the good luck. He said it's the good luck. Good luck to you as well. 1000 cats. What a nice dude. So, of course, we're going to start off with our farming as usual. Per usual, you probably, nah, no, actually, you do start off with a farm with every farm strat. Like, there's no reason why you shouldn't, all right? So, of course, he's also farming as well. We're going to set down our tag shooter for our first tower, of course. I'm going to probably set it down down here, I guess, uh, because I don't want to leak too many lives. And I also did not want to set down attack. And who cares where I put it? Honestly, it doesn't matter if like I anti-stall a little bit harder or not. Uh, but let's send him four sets of reds, one set of blue. I didn't mean to do that. I usually send three sets of reds and two sets of blues if you guys do not know. I'm going to upgrade this to the 1-0 so we can defend mostly against AI. It looks like he's probably going to be going heli, but he did set down one set of attacks or maybe two. And there he goes with the heli. Yes, he is going heli. So the thing about heli is that most people do not know how to use it. All right, so don't panic if you see... Well, if you have an opponent that you're going against that is not very experienced, they most likely don't know what they're doing with heli because you got to know how to use it. All right, you got to know where to position it. You actually cannot place it right uh, over top of the track. It's just not as effective. It's a proven freaking fact. Uh, and most people do that and they also put it on pursuit, which is not a good thing That's not what you want to be doing uh, The best way to control the heli is by yourself You need to control the heli in order to in order for it to be more effective uh, So he's sending us constant things here So I'm gonna have to upgrade to this two three here So we got the two three now so we should be able to defend against these constant tanks and he does stop sending which is a good good thing but we're probably going to go for this next farm rather than sending a green rush, which kind of sucks. And he's going to go for that third farm, it looks like. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to be going for this plantation here. And I don't think he got any extra bananas off of that farm right there. Come on. Dude, I need freaking money. All right, there we go. Uh, so, I'll probably wait a little bit of time before uh, I do send these greens. I can actually send them now. I'm not going to boost them either. I just want to force an upgrade. And also possibly get a boost out of him. That would be an amazing, amazing thing. Of course, I'm going to send him a lot. And I mean a lot of freaking greens. It wouldn't have been a bad idea to be aggressive with Mixed Eco, but it's all good. All right, so it looks like he's definitely going to be leaking lives here because, as you guys can see, his heli is right over top of the track, which you do not want that, all right? Like I said, don't want that, okay? That's the one thing I know about heli. You do not want it over top of the track. That is not a good thing. Uh, for that heli so let's get up the next banana plantation so we're going to commence the out farming and also he got up the razor rotors actually we're pretty much tied in farms but we do have that eco advantage that's a good thing uh, if he does want to send us some yellows we're just going to get up a quick mortar and um you know we could probably get the rapid fire and that would be pretty good but it looks like he's not going to be sending us anything today so we're going to go for that next farm here and he's probably going to go for his next farm as well i mean if he does send us a rush easily able to boost it and we're going to be able to defend with one tax shooter so that's a nice thing it looks like though that he went uh for that next farm so that's a cool thing let's get up that next farm and now we're probably gonna get up our mortar because that's probably uh what we want to do in this situation so let's get up this mortar i'm gonna put it actually come on can i set it over here there we go i'm gonna get the bernie stuff actually uh, in case of regrows and, every and everything like that but we're gonna definitely send him a rush on round 13 most likely because he won't be able to defend let's upgrade to our next farm though because i just saw that he upgraded so whenever you see your opponent upgrade to their next farm you can upgrade to your farm because that means they probably have no money most of the time unless they're trying to save money and trying to trick you which they probably aren't so let's get the signal flare of course so we have some camera detection uh, cause that would kind of be awkward if he didn't. So there we go. Um, going to get the bigger blast right there as well. Uh, because it looks like he sent us quite a bit of camo pinks, but it looks like we're going to be pretty good against that rush. So 
<laughs> right now, guys, he has, like, no money. He's Oh, Heli Boomer. Okay, so maybe this this can catch him off guard, all right? Hopefully, this can catch him off guard because he has absolutely no freaking money right now. He's going to try to sell one of his farms, and he's going to be able to... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. I'm just talking way too freaking fast, but he ended up dying to that rush because he cannot get up the turbo charge in time. So, GG, my friend. I'll see you guys in the next one. So, we're back with the next opponent, Broket1. Um, yeah, not, not the greatest, not the greatest I've seen ever on this game, but hey, all right, we're gonna give him the benefit of the doubt, we're just going to assume this guy is a freaking legend at this game, okay, so that's how we're gonna play against him, we got the map park, actually, um, so I'm gonna actually skip that, I don't wanna play in park, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it, all right, Battle River, ah, oh, do I wanna go eco, that means late game, and, uh, I might actually just go... Hmm, guys, what should we go? What should we go on this map? I'm thinking sub farm, not dart. Let's go. Okay, this is gonna be risky, okay? But I think we can pull this off, okay? So I usually don't set my towers like this too, so that's kind of awkward. Uh, let's just see if we get a better fourth. <laughs> we got ice, just in case. All right, just in case if we need it. Probably not gonna be using it, guys. I never use my fourth ever, just because they're luck based. And I don't know. I just respect my opponent enough to not use a luck based tower. Okay, guys. So we're gonna be starting off with our farm. It looks like he's gonna be ecoing. So that is not a good thing for us at all, because of course we're gonna have to get up that airburst start. And that's gonna be a lot of freaking money. And he's also anti stalling round one. And he's going to be anti-stalling for the rest of the game. Nice. All right. You already, you're doing my job for me. Thanks, brother. So we're going to upgrade to this twin guns here. But it looks like he's not going to be sending us any eco. So he probably doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, you either eco or farm, guys. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Like, you need money in this game. Money is pretty valuable in this game. So you either need to farm or you need to eco. Always. Every single game. Uh, so, okay. He's going to go with the farm. Okay. I can respect that. But why two wizards? Not too sure, but we're definitely going to be sending him some space pinks the next round. Uh, but I was a little bit scared that he was going to send me a rush, like I said. Or not a rush, but eco. Uh, so I was saving up for that airburst starts, but it looks like he's not going to be doing that. So, of course, we're going to go for this next farm here. And then we're going to send him some pinks, man. Some space pinks. He's definitely not going to be liking those. Uh, if he does send us also space pinks, we're not going to be able to defend, but I doubt he does. I really doubt he does. And also, we got that nice farm lead on him as well. He set down all of his tags already, so that's an awesome thing as well. Uh, glad to get those out of the way because, you know, tags can be freaking annoying. It looks like he's probably going to get his lightning up here very, very soon. Uh, probably within the next couple of seconds. Come on. No? I really just want to force this freaking lightning upgrade, dude. I just really do. Come on. No way, does he not have the tier? No, wait, it's only second tier, dude. You have to have it unlocked. What is he doing? How is he defending pretty nice? He's actually defending pretty nicely. Okay, there he goes with the upgrade. Finally, dude. All right, I probably shouldn't upgrade to this. Uh, Yeah, I, I really shouldn't. Okay, so I'm going to get the air burst starts right there. I was thinking about greeting it, but I'm already ahead in farms and also eco. Uh, so I'll just, I'll just stick on the safe side for this one right here, guys. So I'm going to go for this next plantation here. There we go. Barely freaking got it. Had $1 to spare, actually. So that's pretty funny. We're going to be able to defend against Space Blacks. Um, if they were greens, we wouldn't be able to defend them. Um, hopefully, maybe, actually, I don't know. I don't know, guys. If it's constant Space Blacks, you might end up chasing a little bit. But I'm not really too worried about it. I'm going to agree this a little bit and then get up our next plantation. His farms are absolutely terrible right now. So that is not looking good for him at all. Uh, but he, there he goes with the next 1-0 farm. So at least he has two 1-0 farms. All right. I'm pretty proud of you for that one, dude. Um, but it looks like he has... No, he does not have two lightnings. He only has one lightning. But I'm not going to send space regen whites. I just don't think it's worth it. I'm going to save out my money right here just in case if he does want to send regen yellows or something like that. Uh, so I can get up a quick air burst start, but it looks like he's not gonna be sending us anything So I'm gonna upgrade to the next farm. There we freaking go. He also upgraded to another one zero farm uh, So good for you broke it good for you, man I'm gonna upgrade to this plantation three plantations on round eight with freaking using sub Let's go ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty good if you do ask me So we're gonna go for this next farm indeed as well I believe you know what the greed is freaking real the dream is alive and the greed is real Let's get up that next farm, and we're going to have to get up a reactor, of course, to defend against leads. So let's get up our lead detection probably right here. I like to put it down as low as possible uh, because it covers more area. So let's get up this reactor. Uh, we're not able to sell this just yet, but he has not sent us a lead, so that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, okay, we could probably sell it now, but also he hasn't sent us a lead, so I'm just going to leave this. And I uh, hope he thinks that's a reactor because, hey, it looks like a reactor, kind of. Oh, God, here he comes with some whites, though. We're going to have to get up another airburst start to hopefully defend. 
Um, we might also need a double shot ninja. Oh god, that is quite a bit of whites. Oh Jesus Christ, is he all outing me? Oh my lord, holy shit. Oh my god, I probably should have just got off the reactor. My, my god, what the hell, dude? Holy shit, he just sent me <laughs> like 3k worth, over 3k worth of freaking whites, dude. My golly, holy crap, I was definitely not expecting that. Uh, so I'm actually going to sell one of my air burst darts right here. I'm going to put this bad one on strong as well. And if he does want to send a rush, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to defend. Um, we're out farming him by a lot, of course. He just wasted a shit ton of money. We probably could all out him here soon. I'm probably going to send him a camo ceramic next round uh, just to catch him off guard because I know it will. I know for a fact it will catch him off guard. Hopefully get a boost out of him and then I'm probably just going to all out him, guys, because... I don't see him defending, and he has yet to show his other towers, actually. But here we come with the camo ceramic right here, layered over with things. So let's see what he does with this. It's gonna sneak past through a little bit, and it looks like he's gonna be able to defend. Okay, all right. I thought, you know, I thought he really wasn't gonna be able to defend that, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna send him some regrow, uh, especially layered in with this round 16. Yeah, so this is definitely, this is definitely gonna force a boost. This has to force a boost, especially with the tornado wizard. He's gonna end up selling farms. He's gonna boost too. He's gonna get that dragon breath, but is it gonna be enough? What? Okay, he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna be able to defend. Nicely done, nicely done, man. Okay, so if he does, okay, okay, okay. Guys, we're just gonna all out him. All right, we're gonna all out him. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're just gonna boost that real quick because there's a lot of regrow. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna all out him, boys, and he's gonna die. All right, he's definitely dead to this. And also, we just gotta watch out in case that he has something that can detect freaking non camo balloons but he's gonna be able to boost once again but there's gonna be way too much regrow on his side of the map and i think broquette is gonna go down and he was focused on sending that mod towards us so gg my friend i'll see you guys in the last game so we're back with the next opponent's player pretty op pretty op like i said with the last guy okay we're just going to assume this guy's a freaking legend at this game all right not gonna be underestimating him whatsoever we got the map snowy castle all right so we're gonna go not a dfa strat of course probably wouldn't even go dfa on this map uh, because this is specifically a boat map um but i guess i'm down to play on this map fuck it guys we're gonna be playing on this map and we're gonna go tack or oh, sub tack farm okay <laughs> i think i've used this once or twice in a video i can't exactly remember uh but this strat is actually not bad whatsoever because of course you can't lose to any mid game rush and usually okay you can defend all out round 20s with this um i have done it before it is possible you just gotta spam maelstroms and airburst starts and you should be able to defend but it looks like he's gonna actually be ecoing against us which is kind of not a good thing but it's all good because we can start off with the tax shooter so we're gonna get our tax shooter down there right about there uh looks like a pretty decent position and i guess he's not gonna be what Dude, I don't understand these guys' logic. Okay, so he's not going to be ecoing. All right, so here he goes with the farm. He pulled out a farm. I'm sorry for the little intermission, but my cat actually just came in here and started making some noise. Uh, you guys probably heard it, maybe. I might keep it in the video. I might not. Uh, but we're about to leak a shit ton of lives here, guys. We are literally going to leak so many fucking lives. Oh, my God. So I got to set down all my tax. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i had to set down all my tags right there probably to leak down to uh less than 70 lives less than 50 um 60 okay um probably should upgrade yeah let's do that <laughs> okay the greed is definitely real ladies and gentlemen and i i play better on low lives okay don't don't worry all right it may seem like i'm in a bad position right now but you're not over until you leak down to zero lives okay that's my freaking philosophy in this game so we're definitely going to be sending this guy some space blacks here uh so let's do that so he has to worry about that even though his boat is actually doing it in or putting in a lot of work that is i'm actually quite surprised uh but we're trying we're going to try to go for this next farm here um so we're going to save up for that but it looks like he's going to be able to defend he did upgrade to another boat but he has yet to leak in on the live like how he has i mean uh, he hasn't leaked anything like nothing he still has a perfect 150 lives and we already used all of our tags. <laughs> oh, Jesus, guys. What was I thinking, dude? I just, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I probably shouldn't have greed that. That's dumb greed right there, okay? If you're if you're about to leak over two-thirds of your lives, then that that's just dumb greed, okay? In my book. So I probably uh, would not do that if that's what's going to happen. Uh, but he's going to be able to defend against anything that we do send him. So I'm not going to be sending him yellows. I mean, if we were to send, like, so many freaking yellows, like, over $1,000 worth of yellows, we probably would do some damage, but I'm not going to be trying that out. So I'm going to try to get this farm placement 
It's literally impossible for me on mobile. Like, I've only got it once or twice. Uh, so don't be expecting me to get it, but I'll try, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be trying my best, all right? It's just so aggravating, man, because I usually never get it. But it's fine, and it looks like we're not going to be able to go for that next farm because we need lead detection, brother. We need lead detection. So I'm guessing uh, to put our reactor up here, actually. So I'm going to probably do that, and I'm going to have to set a tax shooter by it, guys. We're going to have to set a tax shooter by it. I don't know the best reactor spot on this map. If you guys do know what that is, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. Definitely would appreciate that because uh, I don't know. I really don't know what it is. Uh, but we're still somehow out farming him. I literally have no freaking clue how, but I'm not going to question it, guys. I guess I'm just not going to question it. Uh, so, we're going to be good against any mid-game rush, like I said previously. Uh, it looks like he needs some defense on his side, so I'm probably going to send him a rush right here. A little mini rush, kind of kind of a big rush, kind of not. I like to send two regrow rainbows, de definitely against a destroyer as well. Uh, but it looks like he's going to actually end up boosting to that rush, and also he bloom boosted at me. Uh, so that's kind of confusing. Are you going to all out me? Like, is that is that what your plan was? Or did you just misclick? All right, maybe you meant to boost, but you also clicked that other button. I'm not too sure, but I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to go for the all out in this position right here, guys. Because there's literally no way he's going to be able to defend against that. I don't see him. I don't see him defending against that, boys. I really don't. And I just got a text message. Don't, don't worry about that. And I think player's going to go down to that rush, which is an awesome, awesome thing. GG, my friend. That's going to wrap up the video. I know you guys are probably tired of the CC. I do apologize. I'll try to start uploading more often on those boss arena days, BFB days, etc., etc. It just depends on if I'm not busy or if I am busy on that. So, fortunately, I was pretty busy on the boss arena day, even though I did stream. Okay, I do like streaming, and that's why I did decide to stream on that day. Uh, but I'll catch, I'll get you guys some good gameplay, I promise. But... If you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a fat like on the video. And also, if you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button. So the last question I asked you guys in the last video was, what was the strat that I was using in the last game of that video? And the answer was Boomer Spike Factory Farm. So this guy won. Congratulations, man. I can't believe that some of you got this wrong. I was reading through the comments and some of you somehow got this wrong. All you had to do was go to the last game and see what strat I was using. That's it. That's all I was asking for, but somehow people still got it wrong. I don't know. Maybe some people were confused, but still, congratulations, man, on your shout out. So the next question I'm going to be asking you guys is, what is my least favorite color? All right, my least favorite color. So out of like the main colors, not like fucking aqua or anything like that. All right, like pink, blue, brown, white, black, all those colors. All right, make sure to leave your answers down below in the comment section. You may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video, which is obviously dope. I'm going to wrap the video up here, boys. It's been your boy, Bolt. Peace out, everybody.